I'm pleased to announce this morning that Acting Police Chief Michael Boos here will be formally appointed by me this morning as the new Police Chief of Maine's first fully accredited police department and one of the finest police departments of its size. All the candidates I interviewed came with very impressive resumes and demonstrated that they all had qualities which made them serious contenders for the position of police chief. Acting chief and soon to be, Chief Boussier demonstrated to me that he possessed the qualities that would best fulfill the demands of leading the second largest law enforcement agency in the state. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Michael J. Boussier, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of the State of Maine, and that I will faithfully discharge to the best of my abilities the duties incumbent on me as Chief of Police for the City of Lewiston according to the laws of this state and the Charter of the City of Lewiston. So help me God. State. So my job in the next several years is to keep it that way. Um, I've, I've done assessments, as, uh, as Pillar mentioned earlier, for a career. I've been to uh, uh, law enforcement agencies from as far away as Missouri to Maryland and from Georgia to Montreal, Canada. And I've seen a lot of good agencies, a lot, a lot of law enforcement agencies. And uh, I haven't seen one that's better than us. Does. And we're just going to need to keep it that way. And, and we're going um, to improve. We're going to make it better. There's some things that we can... Um, certainly do uh, better, but uh, for the most part, we don't do it. Yeah, well, right now, you know, we have the lieutenants in place, but we need to make a deputy chief. That's a very important position. It's the number two guy in the agency and is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations, so that's going to be one of my next priorities. How long do you think that'll take? Well, uh, hopefully I'd like to get that done soon. i got to talk to you know, the acting city administrator about that because we're in a situation where there was... You know, there was some savings banked by not having a chief position for a while, so for sure, obviously. But it could be a little bit of a process, maybe a few weeks or even a couple of months. Well, essentially what I want to do is I want to set up a community resource officer uh, position, uh, basically four positions. We're going to um, do some restructuring to get that under the support services role. And uh, these officers are going to work. You know, we got the tax grant where we, where we received uh, two officer positions. So the officers are going to work uh, directly with the community, doing a lot of outreach, uh, community action groups building our neighborhood coalitions and neighborhood watch groups, working with the uh, neighborhood communities that we have here. So we're going to get busy doing that again. I think that we've gone off focus of that a little bit, and I think it's important that we get